Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Thursday here. Mike's with a page coming to you live from Oldsmar, Florida, just outside of Tampa Bay. A little weather update for you here on YouTube. Um, appreciate you coming by. Make sure you subscribe to the page as it grows. We really appreciate that. I'll be heading down today with a good friend of mine, Jason Bostow. He has uh, reached out to Furman Generators and he purchased 14 generators and he's got a ton of supplies that he's handing out. We're heading down to Pine, Pine Island and some of the areas around there, so I'll be streaming live some and post some pictures on that um, as we uh, give away, you know, some families in much need down there. Um, but as far as weather goes today, I want to do a quick update. Uh, we still have Carl uh, heading south, southbound as expected, hit a roadblock. We got a strong jet stream above, and uh, it's going south. Good news is there's a lot of wind shear. Uh, hasn't really gotten any stronger. It's been bouncing around 50, 60 miles an hour. So that uh, hopefully will stay stay that way. Big rain nonetheless uh, as it approaches southern Mexico this weekend, Friday, uh, Saturday landfall. So that's car. A lot of wind shear. You can take a look at it um, here. Let's take a look at the um, current satellite. <laughs> it's trying to come up. Not doing a very good job here. Let's try uh, just pull it up here. We'll open it to a new tab. There we go. All right. So this is kind of the big picture right now. We got a frontal line rolling down south. I uh, got a pretty pretty strong line of storms throughout the day yesterday, overnight, and this morning. Uh, we had some rain on the east coast. The Florida Florida convection we saw yesterday kind of fizzled out. Didn't really get those big rains. We had you know random rains throughout the peninsula, but not not like some of the models were showing. There is still a little bit of fuel left here in the Gulf. We're going to be watching uh, as this daytime heating comes in. But there's Carl, uh, wind shear, and uh, that's that. <laughs> we got another spot to watch. This one just popped up today. It's at twenty percent, um, way out yonder in the Atlantic. Um, these have a hard time trekking west this time of year. There is a lot of dusty, dry air over the Atlantic right now. But, you know, if it makes its way across, it could be something to watch. It depends on how far north it goes. The farther north it goes, the more likelihood it gets picked up by an old frontal boundary and, um, does, you know, doesn't have a chance to come come west too much. But keep, a, keep an eye on it nonetheless. Uh, not a lot of model support. As a matter of fact, here's the latest European uh, ensembles and uh, not showing much at all with that system so uh just kind of letting you know it's out there for now nothing else to worry about on that one uh so here's our front we got a front coming down i guess the big story is tomorrow um friday we still got some lingering rains uh possibly let me go to friday here's friday so the rains today thursday they're going to push on through a little bit of lingering rain south florida tomorrow this front makes its way through all the way through the state. Not a lot of cool air with this past central parts of the Florida. Um, South Florida, unfortunately, is still going to be a little wet on Friday. Saturday, though, looks pretty awesome. Uh, look at that. Dry, crisp, uh, you know, blue skies. It's going to be very low humidity. I'm going to show you that here in a second. But Saturday looks wonderful. There's our next front, though, bowing down here. We got another front coming in quick. Um, it's going to start to bring rains towards middle part of the U.S. on Saturday. Likely it's going to reach the upper Gulf, West Coast Gulf on Sunday. We were showing this Louisiana into Texas could get some rain on Sunday. Uh, high pressure stays over Florida and in the, in the southeast. So good weekend for most in the southeast with uh, drier, crisper, cooler air. With some 40s possibly reaching the top of Florida. 50s down into middle parts of the state on uh, Saturday. Uh, here's actually here's some of your temperatures. Let's take a look here real quick. We're going to show you that other front coming down. Here's your Friday temperature map. 50 is already making it down to the upper Gulf. The front's still making its way down. Saturday though, here we go. Saturday, low 60s down to middle Florida. Here's your 50s and 40s. Might hit some 30s in the mountains. Uh, some of it lingers on Sunday. Still 50s reaching down into Florida. Uh, obviously 40s and 50s across mo most in the south but then our next front starts to really dig deep here's uh, Monday you can see some 20s um, Tuesday we got some low 20s all the way down into the mountains into Tennessee so this could be the coldest air of the season for a lot of folks low 20s and 30s uh, touching pop top of uh, Mississippi Alabama and Georgia even so that's the next biggie coming down 
and then it kind of slowly fades away. But what it does, it brings in the cool weather a little bit farther down into Florida. Next Thursday, Friday, we can see 50s getting closer and closer to Okeechobee. This is the next week. So that, these cold fronts start pushing that heat out of here. And uh, we got a, a front coming early part of next week. So back-to-back -back BOGO fronts. Tropical Tidbits here shows you the humidity. Green is moist. I don't know. A lot of people don't like that word, moist. Moist air is green. Dry air is brown. Here we get into tomorrow. Go, this is throughout the day today, Thursday night. Look at that. Dry air. Here it comes. Friday morning. Boom. A little bit of humidity left down in South Florida, but look at that. Dry. 20%. 15%. 10% humidity on uh, Friday, and it lingers here through Saturday. Dry air for most everybody, so the humidity will be down. It'll feel nice and cool. Won't be that normal summertime heat. Here's Sunday, and here's our next front coming down Sunday. You can start to see it into the picture uh, coming down into Monday. So that's what we got. Tropics are kind of quiet. Like I said, uh, you know, October we still watch, but right now things are quiet. You know, we'll just keep an eye on any of these waves out here. You just, you know, you just never turn your back on tropical waves. We have a couple of them kind of fizzled. We have a lot of dry air out here. The one we were watching by the islands fizzled out. So there's just really no convection down here to worry about right now. So that's always a good thing. All right, well, have a good day. Uh, I'll be down in Fort Myers area uh, today, and uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.